this is extra bone marrow that was left over after the last bone marrow procedure. You can see here in the centrifugation product that there are three main layers. There's the red blood cells and uh, other bone marrow cells that are deposited here at the bottom section. Then you have this buffy layer full of nice uh, bone marrow stem cells and other bone marrow cells as well as fibrin and then above it you have a plasma layer. So basically the goal is to isolate these cells and in some cases depending on which um, tissue we're injecting we may or may not want extra plasma as well. Like if it's a joint uh, that plasma is actually really good at lubricating and providing other growth factors that can help the joint as well. And so uh, we can do different mixes of platelet-rich plasma, platelet-rich fibrin, and bone marrow stem cells, depending on what we're targeting and what the injury is. So this is a nice example of really good bone marrow stem cells. I'll put it up close to the camera here. These stem cells have become further separated and apparent after further isolation protocols and processing time, and regenerative agents can include stem cells, PRF, PRP, alpha-2 macroglobulin, or A2M, peptides, biologic agents, biomaterials, and hydrogels, and all sorts of other agents. When placed to injury sites using image guidance, these regenerative agents have been shown to provide significant relief and healing in many conditions of joints and nerves, tendons, ligaments, bone, and disc and spine injuries. And this is what I routinely do. I specialize in complex, minimally invasive image-guided procedures for ideal placement of these regenerative agents for an optimized recovery. And I'm one of the only physicians in the world who can customize and combine these different agents together for synergistic effects and for optimal outcomes, all based on your specific injury, and combine it into a single procedure. One unique thing that I do that helps optimize outcomes of stem cell therapies is to embed them and mix them with a scaffolding matrix. And when I do this, um, I mix the stem cells in, especially these mesenchymal stem cells that come from bone marrow, um, which are primed to become orthopedic tissues. I bind them into these hydrogel matrices, these protein matrices, which help to stick the stem cells right where I inject them. And that prevents the stem cells from diffusing and disintegrating and dying off and uh, undergoing a process called anoikos, where stem cells will essentially just die off, similar to a, a programmed cell death of uh, apoptosis. Um, these stem cells, they want something to grab onto and to live and thrive on and proliferate on, and that helps integrate them into the tissues. So the fibrin scaffoldings are really good because they're like a sticky matrix that helps stick to tissues. It gives the tissues a matrix of growth factors itself. Plus, in addition, it holds the stem cells there to help bind them and localize them and integrate them into the injured tissues. And in this way, the stem cells will release their growth factors, their exosomes, as well as start uh, cell repair in these mesenchymal type tissues, which include muscle, tendon, ligament, meniscus, fibrocartilage, disc, uh, labrum, bone, um, all these types of mesenchymal tissues. And, and the great thing about using your own bone marrow stem cells is that they come from you. And so your immune system is not going to attack them or kill them off. These are primed for integration into these mesenchymal tissues and for release of growth factors. And the fibrin matrices just augment that entire process. They help stick them where they need to be. They help them to live and thrive. We even see this in the lab when culturing them. Um, if you give them a, a protein matrix to uh, proliferate on and to grow on in the lab incubators, something like Matrigel, these stem cells will live and thrive through multiple cell cycles and multiple replication cycles. So these are PRF patches with stem cells integrated in. Um, so this, these are basically fibrin matrices with growth factors and platelets. The fibrin has uh, receptors that will actually activate platelets to release further growth factors. And they also have binding sites for integrins on mesenchymal stem cells. And so they really help support this cell culture and they stick to tissues wherever they're injected. They're essentially a liquid when I inject them, and then as they warm to body temperatures, they quickly become solidified hydrogel matrices with all these growth factors and cells. And um, over time, they will help support the injured tissue and also give it a scaffolding to rebuild on.